Hello everyone. This is my first time doing a YouTube video. Briefly, I'm a recent graduate from a Master of Science program at Technical University of Darmstadt in Germany. So during the process of my master thesis, I sampled groundwater wells. So uh, for the certain section of my master thesis, I had to evaluate the groundwater samples with the shoulder diagram. So to do that, I search like programs and way of doing it in either Google or YouTube videos. I couldn't find a proper way of doing it. So either they show some programs that I cannot make it make it work or I couldn't find some video on YouTube. So I wanted to do this so in order to help other people. So I'll use the Excel program and you can create it without so much effort. It's fairly easy. So let's get started. So I put the some of the values and sampling locations that I examined for my thesis. So on here on the this line, uh, you can see the ions that I examined. So this is up to you. This is the these ions that I observed um, with a let's say higher concentration in my groundwater samples. So that's why I'm using them. So you could switch this up. So you can add lithium, let's say, what else, strontium or let's say fluoride. This could switch. You can change it, I mean. And here, these are my valve names. So these are like, so these are names of, names of the, name of the wells. So let's get, and the values. So the values are, they are in terms of, Mac per liter. So not a milligram per liter or PPM, not a concentration value. They are switched. So they are Mac per liter. So in order to create a professional looking Scholar diagram, you have to convert them to Mac per liter. I will not explain on I will on this video I will not explain how to do it. It's fairly easy. You can look it up and convert them. So let's get started. I go ahead and select them, all of them. So I go here and insert. I go here, insert line or area chart, click, first one. So this one I click. So at first glance, it, lo it looks quite, let's say, weird. So what we want to do is we want to see the ion names on the x-axis rather than the sample codes, like well names here, we want to see the ions here. So in order to switch this looking, you come up here and switch row and you click switch row and column. And they are switched. We don't need these. I'll click and press delete. I'll also delete this one. Now it's getting better. We have some more work to do. The first thing that we have to be careful and we, ha we have to switch the axis. So this is a, let's say linear values are here and we have to switch it to logarithmical scale. So that's how we do a shoulder diagram. So that's how to do it more professionally. So in order to observe the, if there's a absurd switch in the values, instead of line going back and up and forth in a observed manner, logarithmical scale will fix that issue. The values will stay in a closer range, let's say. So in order to do that, you click the values, Y values, and you'll you'll see, you'll, this page will open up, format access page, and you'll go ahead and click logarithmic scale. I'll receive a message like this, negative or zero values cannot be plotted. I click OK. And there is a switch. Seems a little bit off again, the values. So in order to fix this, I'll click access value. 
our access value, so the smallest value in my range is 0 0.01. So I need to fix that. Instead of 1, I will go ahead and put 0 0.01, enter. We are back in line again. So minimum value, I don't have a minimum value. This one, my minimum value is 0 0.01. Again, I switched it. Maximum value, my maximum value is something like, let's say, 10.7 for calcium. So I don't have hundreds or 90s, 80s. So I'll just make it small as small as possible, let's say. So I'll put 20. So, then now it's one more thing sorry so i don't want to we don't want to see these zeros here so we'll click again the axis number make it general zeros are gone so we are almost there i will make this black to make them more visible or nicer looking both of them both axis so we have to finally we have to add the grid lines so let's start with the X axis, click, add minor grid lines. They are added to make them more visible. Come here, select this color. Let's try another one. Sorry, click again format minor grid lines i think i was switching something else sorry so we'll click format minor grid lines now yeah this one gray 25 percent as you can see they are more visible now we'll also do the same thing here add minor grid lines format minor grid lines change this yeah they are more visible and finally we have to add the ticks tick marks tick marks inside inside for the color black as you can see from here for these guys you i think this you don't have to put them for the eye names so this is this is this is how it should be look how it should look let's say so you can play it around you can f change the values or the setup according to your taste so that's how i did it for my thesis so logarithmical scale the numbers are here and that's how you do a shoulder diagram hopefully this will reach out to people so this and they could they could they can make use of this for their, let's say, thesis or whatever their professional works. Thank you so much and be safe.